recent years, Russell Brand's reinvented himself as an anti-establishment commentator online. He has 6.6 .6 million subscribers on his YouTube channel, 11.2 million followers on Twitter, 6 million fans on Facebook, and they're all very loyal to him. Millions of Brand's fans have been crying conspiracy since this scandal broke, led by influential figures like Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, and Andrew Tate. Why do so many believe that he's a victim of a big conspiracy? We'll discuss this. I'm joined by the controversial influencer, Bill Davis, and from New York, the, well, equally controversial influencer, Louise Mensch. Let's call you both the same title, shall we? Um, all right, let me start with you, Pearl. Uh, I've been watching this. It's very interesting how this debate has come down now. Uh, with a lot of people on the conservative right in the main, but basically saying they believe he's been deliberately targeted and taken down to, to silence him because he's been promoting what they see as conspir conspiracy theories. I mean, it certainly seems like that. I mean, I think you just, you just start to see the same thing over and over again, where prominent figures like, like the Tate brothers, right, come out and then all of a sudden they have all these allegations from 10 years ago and there's no evidence, they don't go to the police. And all of a sudden, it's, it's believe women with no evidence. And, um, and, and it becomes like trial by the media, which I just think is wrong. But is it right to equate his YouTube channel, his you know, exploration of various theories about COVID or whatever, <laughs> is it really realistic that a four-year investigation by two mainstream media companies is in any way connected to that or, or a desire to silence him? Why would they care? Uh, it just seems like they, they always just go after him. I don't know why. All right, let me bring in Louise. I mean, I don't, I don't really follow this theory because I don't understand why mainstream media would really care if Russell Brand has millions of people that want to watch his stuff. I mean, I've watched some of them occasionally. It's not always right-wing people. He has left-wing people on as well. Um, it, you know, it's quite interesting, some of it. Uh, I was going to get him on my show and maybe do his. So I don't really understand this theory that somehow it's all a deliberate campaign to silence it. What, did they have a time machine, Piers? Like, did they have a time machine to go back in time four years before he had this new YouTube channel at all and before he started tacking hard to the alt-right and then somehow they decided that they were going to get him? No, they didn't. And I think the key thing here is not to confuse two separate issues. The first is the issue of putative criminality of a criminal case that, as your previous guests said, will almost certainly never be brought because this is historical stuff and saying, which I think you're saying, I disagree with you, that the rest of us can't decide that these women are victims. Now, I don't believe in the Me Too movement. I have a problem with the idea that accusation is the same as conviction. That's not true. I believe these specific women, because I heard what they have to say and I find them credible in a way that I don't find other accusers credible. And I think that's the difference. It's well, not go one to the size police. fits all. Then go to the police. Like, wh why are you going to the media and not the police, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, the media, like, they run stories. And I just don't think it's fair that we do trial by the media. Um, well, that's, except that's, that, I, as I said earlier, trial, Harvey, Harvey Weinstein is in prison mm -hmm. because women went to journalists. And then the police. Well, you they should, uh, they should go to the Piers. police. Yeah, but it can be very... Sometimes women feel we just have... The... Why would you... That doesn't make any sense. Well, uh, you go to the journalists instead of the police. But we live in a country here where only 1% of rape allegations lead to conviction. Well, you're... Maybe only 1% were telling the truth. I don't know. Does that seem likely? Could be. Unlikely. <laughs> I don't it know. It says to me the justice system is wrong in the way we investigate these things. Louise? Look, Pearl is somebody who believes that women shouldn't even have the vote. OK, let's just let's just leave it yes, there. Yes. You heard in your own show today, on your own show today, Piers, one of your earlier guests who was actually defending Russell Brand said that she had been raped and the police treated her very nicely. Mm. But when you pressed her and said, then what happened? Mm. We heard what happens all the time to women that make these accusations. The director of public prosecution said there were two people in the room. I can't prove anything. And they didn't bother to bring yeah, a case you need the guy. But, like, and that was somebody who was defending the Russell truth. Brand. I, I, well, you're just I, assuming they're so telling the I truth. Not, I don't assume. I, I don't think it's assuming that. I, they I mean, where the I disagree truth. with Louise, I, I don't, listen to them. I don't think it is sensible to automatically believe any accusers about anything. My natural journalistic head says to me that's a dangerous road to go down. We've seen time and again cases in this country yeah. where people have been have turned out to be completely innocent, who were the subject of massive publicity over bogus allegations. Well, and you're telling me that 
a guy that has women throwing themselves at him 24-7 had to rape somebody? That doesn't make sense to me. Well, I don't, think you, no, I don't, think, I don't think you can make the leap that that couldn't happen. I didn't say it couldn't. I'd say it's very unlikely. Like, is Elon Musk, is he going to rob a bank? <laughs> Probably not. I think it's certainly less likely, but he could do it. Louise, final <laughs> word to you, quick. He had thousands of women, yeah, but he decided he had to go and pick up a 16-year-old from school. Look, I don't have to see him convicted in a court of law to believe these accusers because these specific accusers are credible. OK. The stories are credible. Why are they credible? We've got to leave it there. Uh, we'll, 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 we will come back to this because it's bound to keep going, Miss Scandal. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you, Louise.